Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Here is your stimulus check update, news report, and stimulus package update for Thursday, January 28th. In this video, I will be discussing the latest stimulus news, including the status of the $2,000 stimulus checks. Republican lawmakers are now begging President Joe Biden to not pass more relief. And Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says the Senate will consider the new relief bill as soon as next week. I am giving away a $50 Amazon gift card. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe, like this video, and comment below. Ok so President Joe Biden has repeatedly stated that he wants to garner bipartisan support for his $1.9 trillion stimulus relief package. Which includes a third round of stimulus checks for most Americans. However, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer just said that the Senate is preparing to act as soon as next week on the relief proposal. This is good news because it is unlikely that President Biden's $1.9 trillion relief bill will ever get Republican support. Now Schumer said, our preference is to make this important work bipartisan, to include input, ideas, and revisions from our Republican colleagues or bipartisan efforts to do the same. But if our Republican colleagues decide to oppose this urgent and necessary legislation, we will have to move forward without them. We have a responsibility to help the American people fast, particularly given these new economic numbers. The Senate will begin that work next week. I am glad that Senate Majority Leader Schumer is taking action for the American people. The White House said on Thursday that it has not given up on a bipartisan stimulus bill. However, lawmakers need to realize that millions of Americans are hurting right now. By using the budget reconciliation process, a new relief bill would only need a simple majority instead of 60 votes. This is a way to subvert the Senate filibuster. White House spokesperson Jen Psaki told reporters, the president wants this to be a bipartisan package, regardless of the mechanisms. Republicans can still vote for a package even if it goes through with reconciliation, there's no blood oath anybody signs. They're able to sign to support it regardless. And he wants this to be a bipartisan package. He's listening to Democrats and Republicans we all are to ensure that that's what it looks like at the end of the day. So far. Only a small number of Senate Republicans have stated that they are open to considering a new relief bill. In addition, those Senate Republicans have said that they would prefer a smaller and more targeted relief bill. On the subject of bipartisanship, I'm disturbed by the rumors that Democrats plan to use reconciliation to force another COVID bill through Congress on partisan lines before. Before even giving good faith effort to bipartisan negotiations, Senator John Thune, RSD, said, Republicans are more than willing to work with Democrats on additional targeted COVID relief legislation. Now I won't pretend that we don't have reservations about some of the measures the Democrats have proposed. For instance, I don't think an emergency relief bill is the place to push through a change that would more than double the federal minimum wage and directly increase expenses on businesses that have been decimated by the pandemic. That's a policy with a lot of economic consequences, and it shouldn't be pushed through Congress in a hasty facial. Republicans are concerned about the enormous amount of money that Democrats want to spend. Even with using budget reconciliation, with exactly 50 senators caucusing with Democrats, there is little margin for error. Without any GOP votes, all 50 members along with Vice President Kamala Harris would have to vote in favor of the package. The White House is currently pushing the wide-ranging $1.9 trillion bill that includes funds for state and local governments, distribution for COVID-19 vaccines, for schools and $1. 400 stimulus checks for many Americans. What do you think everyone? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. If Biden was looking to garner any GOP support, one of the first senators he may have looked toward is Utah's Mitt Romney. While Romney said he is open to another round of stimulus, he suggested on Sunday's CNN State of the Union that relief should be more targeted. I think at this early stage just having passed over $900 million in relief, that before we were to pass a new program, we need to understand where the money is going. Are these the individuals that really need the help? How has the first $900 million we just passed a couple weeks ago, how has that been distributed, Romney said on CNN State of the Union. If there is need, if there are areas where in our $900 billion package we didn't recognize a particular problem, we should focus on that and provide the additional resources necessary, Romney added. I am open to that discussion. Republicans in the bipartisan coalition are crying out for President Joe Biden to change course and embrace his long-standing bipartisan inclinations. Susan Collins, Republican Maine, said a message from Biden to put the brakes on reconciliation would be very helpful. And I think it's what he believes. The president is sincere in his commitment to bipartisanship. That's the way he always operated when he was a senator. And from my conversations with him since the election, 
It seems clear to me that he wants to continue to operate that way, Collins added. This is the smartest and best place for the president to start on his unity promises, argued Shelley Moore Capito. That's where I think the president has to show the leadership of what he has said he wants to do. He is the president. So what I think the Democratic leaders need to realize is it's his agenda. While a bipartisan compromise would be preferable, Democrats say, they won't let that supersede the needs of the country. Schumer the new Senate Majority Leader, said Thursday that if our Republican colleagues decide to oppose this urgent and necessary legislation, we will move forward without them. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below for more daily stimulus check updates.